to Computerized Cutters in Plano, Texas. I'm Jim Whitney, and today we're going to talk about the tricks of the trade. In this episode of Tricks of the Trade, I'm going to determine the height of the return based on the DXF file I sent to the AccuVent program. It doesn't matter which version of AccuVent you have, you can still do the same technique to figure out which height of the letter. I've got several different heights of letters of the same file name, Bob's, let's say Bob's Pete's or something. I got three or four different sets in there and I'm not really sure which one is which. I didn't label them very well and I'm not sure which one is which. So I can determine my outline and I can determine the height of the letter based on the file from the AccuBen. So I'm just going to open the file and I'm just going to select the 24 inch Bank of America job as a uh, an example. I'm not really concerned with the thickness of material at this point. I just go to select contours. I may be able to use the A or the R, but the A is on an angle and the R doesn't come all the way up to the top of the other letters, so I'm going to use the K. So I'm going to select the K, and then when I select the starting and ending point, I'm going to end, start at the top left and end at the bottom left. When I hit accept, it's going to give me a length of material. So that's a 24 inch letter with an 025 outline on it. 025 at the top, 025 at the bottom gives us 05. Had this come up with 24.5, it's a possibility I did a 0.25 outline instead of a 0.025 outline. We recommend an outline of 0.02 to 0.03 for 040 regular facelit channel letters. That way the the return will wrap around the back nicely. We won't have big gaps and stuff. Some people want them a little looser, a little tighter, and that's why this one was done with the 025 outline. I can also determine whether the line lengths are going to be long enough for the AccuBen to actually make the, the bends correctly. So what I can do is I can deselect this, and I can select the F, and I can tell it to start here and end there. And when I hit accept, it's going to give me a length of material. 2.4 inches is well more than enough to be able to make that bend. I hope that helps. Tune in for more tricks of the trade at a later time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Tricks of the Trade. Tune in for another Tricks of the Trade sometime soon.